Welcome back. We're updating a story now. We first brought you last spring about a Sealy Lake couple whose baby girl died just hours before she was to be born. When Kendra and Jerry and Coombs lost their daughter Huntley, they decided to channel their grief into giving through a GoFundMe campaign. They raised more than $3,000 to buy a cuddle cot for St. Patrick Hospital in Missoula, a cooling device that lets families spend more time with their baby after they've passed. This fall, Kendra and Jerry and presented the check to the hospital in Huntley's name, and they're on track to donate another cuddle cot to Community Medical Center. And here's some wonderful news. This fall, they welcomed a healthy baby boy they named Riker, and the family is doing great. The Coombs' loss of Huntley is a loss many couples share in their journey to become parents. The death of a child is considered one of the most difficult experiences someone could ever have. But tonight I go on special assignment to bring us the story of a support group in Missoula where moms and dads can share their sadness but also celebrate those babies gone too soon. They may have been here for months or mere minutes, but they were here and they were loved. And the families of babies who died too soon want us to know it's okay to talk about it. Tyler's family knew he would not live long once he was born. They made every moment count. When he was born on August 3rd, we um, had 18 minutes with him before he passed. Um, and it was a really um, amazing 18 minutes, a really beautiful time. A time when um, I think that we felt a presence, God's presence, in a way that we had never, never experienced before. He opened his eyes and he looked at me um, and we were able to just kind of share that moment and um, he grabbed onto my husband's finger and he passed just very, very peacefully. Talking about the death of a child is difficult, awkward, maybe even taboo. But on this night, moms gathered to share in what they often describe as the complicated collision of joy and pain. I had never even heard, like, it's the 21st century. People don't lose their babies now. Like, I just yeah. had never even heard that there was, like, stillbirth or anything like that. It just didn't, it didn't register in my mind. Um, and I think that misconception for me kind of sent me into kind of this, this desperate isolation, um, you know, where I just wasn't able to express what I was feeling because it, there was so much, like, shame in it as well. Like, I, I should have known that my, there was something wrong with my baby. Um, I should have been able to save her some way, somehow. Um, and so for me, I just, I kind of bottled it all up and, and wasn't able to um, express really how I was feeling. Gone Too Soon Missoula was formed around eight years ago, a support group for parents to talk about the babies they've lost with those who truly understand that profound loss. I needed to be around people who also knew what it was like to, you know, miss your children and not be able to talk about them as much as you'd like to. And it's just nice to be able, even if it's just one night a month, to be able to talk about your little one. As you work through each of those different steps, there's always, you know, a birthday or a holiday or a different milestone that you come up on. and always something else you're processing and working through. People just don't really know how to even start um, and don't maybe know what to expect uh, as far as the group goes. And so I think, I know for myself, the first time I went, I was like, what am I getting myself into? But it ended up being something that was just really beautiful. But there is joy in their conversations about their children. Elizabeth brings her daughter's tiny NICU hat with her when she travels. Little Rosalind was only here a month before she passed away, but her mom honors her daughter by performing random acts of kindness in her name. Something that uh, was gifted to me was little kindness cards that are um, in memory of Rosalind, and so then I can do random acts of kindness and pass out these cards and the ideas that people will pay it forward, and then um, her legacy will be one of love and just spreading throughout the world. Tyler's family also practices those random acts of kindness. They call it living forward, because even after such a loss, life goes on and no one is alone. We really tried to focus on um, Tyler's life more than his death. 
and tried to focus on um, what meaning his life, you know, could really bring to the world. I think it's a gift anytime anybody brings her up to me or says the name Rosalind to me and we get to talk about her. It's just a, just a wonderful gift in my day and I might get teary-eyed and people might worry that they made me sad, but it's just, it's wonderful to know that somebody else is thinking of her and that she's still living on in the world. You can learn more by going to Gone Too Soon Missoula. They have a Facebook page. You can leave a message and they'll get back to you. And by the way, if you come upon one of those kindness cards, don't forget to pay it forward in honor of those little ones we've lost.